I signed from Green Shorts, and one of the issues I had with my rocket stove prototype is that I made the mistake of using galvanized metal to do the prototype. Welcome back subscribers. If you haven't joined us yet, you can do so by clicking on the Green Shorts icon that's going to appear in the bottom right hand corner of the screen throughout the video. What I learned quickly from many of you here on YouTube and from Doug Jackson of SV Seeker who did the second prototype for me on his CNC plasma cutter, you can check out that video here, is that when you burn galvanized metal, it produces toxic fumes. What it's from, however, is the zinc coating that's on this metal. I used the grinder to take the galvanized coating off this prototype, which Doug had started doing for me, and that's working pretty well. But I had a good suggestion in the comments that I could easily burn the galvanized coating off this prototype using a fire. So I've got a small fire set up here. I'm going to light it, let it get really hot, and then set the parts in the fire to remove the galvanized coating. Let's see how this goes. This is not the greenest option. The greenest option would be to have avoided galvanized metal to begin with. Sometimes I learn my lessons the hard way. Of course we've got our friendly neighborhood leaf blower at work today. No big surprise there. It's a trial by fire. Stay out of this smoke. A yellowish coating is forming on some of the metal. Looks like that's where the coating is burning off. More fire. It's interesting to see the contrast between an open fire like this and a rocket stove fire with this inefficient burn happening. See all the smoke it's producing. It's a lot of wasted fuel just to get that coating off the metal. Did I mention that I need to learn my lessons the hard way? The justification for doing it this way with the fire instead of using the grinder is that in a sense the grinder uses fire as well. Not only is it using electricity, which here in Georgia is still produced in part with coal. So the impact of that coal not only is the, the carbon released, but it's also all the energy that went into mining it and then getting it here to Georgia. Most of the coal that we use here in Georgia is mined elsewhere, actually all of it. None of the fuel for any of our electricity here in Georgia comes from Georgia. So by burning it off with fuel that is local, wood from my backyard here, the carbon impact of this is probably less than using the grinder. All right, so I've got all the metal covered with coals. So now I'm just gonna let this burn out. I've given the ashes a day to cool. Let's see how this turned out. Most of the, that sort of pattern of the galvanized coating is gone. That's what we were after. Let's clean this up.
Here's a piece of metal with the original coating. Clean this up with an old sock and some steel wool. Here's an interesting indicator. We've got a layer of fine rust that's already happening on this piece of metal, uh, which would indicate to me that the, the rust preventing galvanized coating has been removed. And we're working with bare steel. All right, I'm gonna let this finish drying in the sun and then we'll add a coat of high temperature paint. I'm arranging the pieces of the stove neatly on this piece of OSB because I'm gonna use it as a piece of art. I'm using this scrap of Huber OSB and if you haven't seen the greenhouse project that I'm doing on my other channel, we're actually building a green home, check it out if you're interested in seeing what makes a greenhouse green. I had a can of high heat uh, Rust-Oleum that was rated for 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. For the rocket stove, I opted for a blend that goes up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, we're watching paint dry. Thanks so much for watching and I really appreciate all the comments that have come in about this stove including setting me straight on the galvanized metal issue. I love that YouTube functions as a community in that way where we can help each other out, share ideas, and even give constructive criticism. If you like this rocket stove you can buy the plans for $2.99 by clicking on the link above or in the description below. It took me about two and a half hours to cut this out with a jigsaw. We'll be testing the painted stove alongside the raw metal stove to see how they perform in comparison. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for a new DIY video almost every Friday. piece of me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.